Having your period is not the most fun part of being a woman, and there are things we all hate about our periods. But how do you know if your period is abnormal and needs attention with your healthcare provider? I'm Dr. Cheryl Dwyer, a gynecologist at MidMichigan Center for Women's Health. Let's talk about how to tell if your period is abnormal and when to get help. A normal period starts every 21 to 35 days with a fairly consistent frequency. It lasts about five to seven days. The normal amount of blood loss during the entire cycle is anywhere from five to 80 milliliters. That is one teaspoon to about five and a half tablespoons. Abnormal periods are those where your period are less than 21 days apart or more than 35 days apart. Remember, this is measured from the first day of one period to the first day of the next one. The cycle time varies by more than 20 days from one to the next, they last more than five to seven days, or you lose more than 80 milliliters of blood in a cycle. If you aren't sure how much blood you lose in a cycle, but you suspect your bleeding is heavy, you may consider using a menstrual cup in place of your tampons or pads. This will enable you to capture the flow and measure its volume. Why should you talk to your healthcare provider if you're periods are abnormal? Well, to begin with, abnormal periods can be worrisome, uncomfortable, and even affect your quality of life. Your healthcare provider may be able to help ease your concerns and your symptoms. More importantly, while abnormal periods may be a sign of problems with your hormones, they could be due to more serious conditions such as infections or a cancer. For example, bleeding between periods may be a sign of ovulation. Or if you are using a hormonal form of birth control, it could be a side effect of the birth control method. But it can also be a sign of polyps or certain types of infections or cancer. Shorter and lighter periods may happen when a young girl first starts her periods or as older women approach menopause. However, they may also be caused by other hormonal problems, eating disorders, excessive exercise, thyroid conditions, or a cervix that is unusually narrow. Amenorrhea, identified by three or more missed periods, may be due to pregnancy or breastfeeding. It may also be due to changes with hormones or abnormalities of the uterus, cervix, or ovaries. One example is Asherman syndrome, which is scarring of the uterine cavity after a procedure in the uterus, such as a DNC or an infection inside the uterine cavity. If a young girl has not had a period by age 13 without breast development or pubic hair, or by age 15 with breast development and pubic hair, she should seek medical attention. Periods with heavy bleeding affect 10 to 35% of women. Women may be more likely to seek help for heavy periods because of the impact on their activities and their quality of life. If periods with heavy bleeding are not treated, they can lead to anemia or a low blood count. Symptoms include pale skin, heart palpitations, lightheadedness, and fatigue. Heavy periods may be caused by anovulation, that is, periods in which the egg is not released. This is most commonly seen in the early years of menstrual periods and nearing menopause. They may also be a sign of conditions such as uterine fibroids, which are most often non-cancerous growths in the uterus, endometrial polyps, which may be benign or cancerous, adenomyosis, a condition where endometrial tissue grows into the muscle wall of the uterus, or they may be a side effect of a certain type of IUD, a device that is inserted in the uterus for long-term reversible birth control. So you see, abnormal periods can be more than just annoying. They may sometimes signal a more serious problem that should be checked out by a healthcare provider. Many of these problems can be treated with medications, office procedures, or minimally invasive surgical procedures. If you find your periods to be abnormal, talk to your healthcare provider.